You're caught staring down the barrel of a handgun. Even if you were armed, what should you do in this scenario? In this video, we're breaking down an armed robbery at a Jimmy John's restaurant with top criminal defense attorney Tom Grieve. He's also a former state prosecutor. But first, a quick reminder, we have a gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win. All right, Tom, we're about 15 seconds into this video already because I, I didn't feel like I wanted to show you this guy walked in and ordered his sandwich before he decided to rob the place. Um, and let's just take a look and, and watch what happens here. He's, uh, he's making his order, conversing with the, the guy behind the counter. And then this cashier's clerk, his evening goes from bad to worse. Um, guy pulls out a gun. And in an effort to look even meaner, he racks the slide. Um, you noticed what I just noticed right there, don't you? Mm -hmm. You can see the barrel, the muzzle. You can see the round is jammed up in the chamber. That gun is completely inoperative, and he's still barking orders. It looks to me like neither of those guys know anything about guns. So um, the, the clerk doesn't realize the gun is inoperative. The guy doesn't realize his gun is inoperative. But let's talk about something at, at this location, at this distance. The question is, do you pull your gun? If, if the clerk had been armed or if another person in that restaurant had been armed, um, do, you, do you pull your gun? Do you draw your gun against a drawn gun? I want to I wanna slide back to a position in this video right here at that distance. Sure. I see lots of stuff going on yeah. here. I mean, this we could talk about this frame of the video <laughs> probably for this entire video and more. But um, I'm looking at this thinking, wow, there's a lot of opportunity here for the good guy and the bad guy's making some very grievous mistakes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not even really sure where to start. Um, let's just dive in. So number one, the good guy can obviously make a play for his weapon or at a minimum to um, just brush it to the left or something like that, to good mm -hmm. guys left, bad guys right, yep. um, and then draw his own firearm. I mean, the firearm, the bad guy's weapon is obviously out of battery right now. Mm -hmm. he, he jammed his own weapon um, when he was carrying on the empty chamber and then went to rack it, and it, it failed to, to feed the next round. And I don't know if, if the employee, if, if the victim here uh, knows much about firearms, but if he does, He's certainly acting like he's not concerned. Yeah. Um, but if he does, I'm not saying don't be concerned. You're being robbed with a gun jammed in your face, for yeah. Pete's sake. But at the same time, if he pulls the trigger, nothing's going to happen right now. Mm -hmm. So it definitely presents an opportunity to both make a play for the weapon as well as to uh, the time advantage and the reactionary gap needed to produce my own firearm. The last thing I'd say is that we don't know what's behind the attacker, so there could be some potential target isolation issues here. Yeah. Um, so, but leaving those to the side, uh, yeah, we've got two two major things going on. Mm -hmm. And and in in this situation, there's something that it, and it requires training. I'm not going to say go ahead and try this. You know, the very first time you see a gun come out, but a gun at that distance, um, the standard philosophy is if you can touch it, you can take it. You get that close, and especially with that gun jammed up and out of battery, you get your hand on the wrist by the wristwatch and another hand on the gun and twist it back into his body, that gun's coming out into your hand. You're going to have it very, very quickly. Um, it's something that takes a lot of practice and actually kind of a big set of stones because now you're facing a gun, and it, it could go off. But um, action defeats reaction, and, and like you said, you can move that gun offline, and you can be moving too, so then you've got twice the speed and twice the distance. Um, but for me, this video says, boy, it pays to be knowledgeable about whether or not a gun's going to be working. And again, we see this time and time again that bad guys are going to rob places and people who they are just assuming are not armed. And if the guy had been armed, if he had been trained, if he had been educated and understood what was going on with that firearm, 
he's at a complete advantage there. The the victim of this robbery is at a complete advantage in this situation. Right, due to the lack of education and training mm-hmm. on the part of the bad guy. Uh, mm-hmm. Absolutely. And and obviously, look, the number one thing that the good guy wants to do is to survive the night, right. to survive the shift at this point. So mm-hmm. he played his hand, um, and he went along with it, and it obviously worked out as well as it could reasonably work out for him at that point. Yeah. All power to to the to the Jimmy John's employees um, mm-hmm. who who got through that that situation um, reasonably unscathed. Yeah, so, and again, maybe that comes back to our original topic, which is the best fight is the one you're not in. Right. You know, maybe he does know that this gun is out of battery, and you know what? I'm not getting shot tonight. This gun isn't going to work. Here, take the cash drawer. Get out. Let me get back to my business. Right. And I don't know what what options for retreat they may have had. Mm-hmm. And and I'm not suggesting. And look. I don't know what state this happened in. I don't know the local laws in that state. Check your local listings. Yeah. Do they have some sort of soft duty to retreat? Are they protected by castle doctrine in a workplace? Mm-hmm. Don't know. Or stand your yeah. ground or something like that. Don't know. Um, my my point is not to say if you can legally shoot someone, do it. My point is not to say um, if you can uh, physically escape, do it. My point is know your options. Understand the law. Get yeah. educated and get trained so that you can – Understand where the lines are legally, as well as where the lines are through your training and experience of, okay, here's what I can do under these circumstances, because you're not going to have enough time to sit down and play 20 questions with yourself of, okay, now what, right? Um, A wise man once said that, you know, the body can only go where the mind has been. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I've I've heard someone say that, uh, you know, a couple occasions over the years. That's that's a very good sentiment. Uh, Very good sentiment. I will will agree with that. He likes to wear gray, I hear. But, uh, (laughs) you know, it's absolutely true. And that's the reason why you have to be actively engaging with training materials, trainers, Mm -hmm. um, and educating yourself on, okay, here's what I do, both mentally as well as physically, to get through these situations and identify what I need to uh, what, what I'm being confronted with, always have escape options, um, and be ready. Yeah. And this, this incident, this video, this frame of this video right here, not only shows opportunity for counterattack, it shows opportunity for escape because typically we say, well, you don't want to run away and get shot in the back while you're running away. You know, you, you're, you're trying to find that, that tactical advantage. If you understand that this gun is inoperative, you have, a lot more time to turn and run because he's going to pull the trigger. He'll probably pull the trigger he twice, probably will, yeah. you know, to try to figure out what's going on if he really wanted to shoot somebody. And then he's going to look at the gun, try to figure out how to solve it. And the way I saw him rack it, he's probably going to put his hand over that ejection port to rack Comfort it again <laughs> and, and keep the round in there and, and have uh, cause him enough trouble to let this guy get into the back room or out the back door or whatever they have for an escape option. So, right. um, this is a great video to look at, and Tom, as always, I truly appreciate your insight and your help as we look through these things from not only a legal aspect, but a tactical aspect as well. So thank you again for being here, and folks, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. Now, we'll remind you once again, we have a gun giveaway going on. It ends soon. All you need to do is click on the link below and reveal which brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association, And if you want to see more videos like this, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this video if you can, because YouTube is actively suppressing firearms videos, and we need your help to defeat the algorithm. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.